Econitum napellus and cantharides. Homeopathy apnaye, bimariyon se chutkara paaye. Mitro namaskar. Aapka mere channel par hardik swagat hai. Is channel ko subscribe karte huye, bell icon ko press karke, aal ke upar zarur click kare. Taake aapko aane wale sabhi videos ka notification mil sake. The purpose of knowledge shared here is only educational and to increase awareness. Please always consult your doctor before taking any medicine. Self-treatment may always be injurious. Friends, today we shall compare two useful remedies, Econitum napellus and Cantharides, also known as Cantharis vesicatoria. Let us know some important differences between Econitum napellus and Cantharides. Number one, Econitum napellus predominantly left side tension in internal parts. Cantharides right side tension in external parts. Number two, Econitum napellus complaints predominate on the soft palate and on the forearm. Cantharides complaints predominate on the roof of the mouth and on the upper arm. Number three, Econitum napellus apoplexy is more frequent than paralysis. Cantharides, paralysis, no apoplexy. Number four, Econitum napellus, paralysis is frequently one-sided. Cantharides, paralysis generally of both sides. Number five, Econitum napellus, itching generally unchanged by scratching. Cantharides, itching is better or worse after scratching. Number six, Econitum napellus, dryness of skin. Cantharides, disposed to perspire easily. Number seven, Econitum napellus, chills creeping upwards. Cantharides, chills creeping downwards. Number eight, Econitum napellus, heat with thirst and inclination to uncover. Cantharides, heat with thirst and aversion to uncover. Number nine, Econitum napellus, thirst during all stages. Cantharides, thirst during heat, not during chill, often between the cold and hot stage. Number 10, Econitum napellus, sadness, maliciousness, absent-minded, stasis. Cantharides, emetuness, raise with convulsions, excited by touching the throat or by the sight of water. Number 11, Econitum napellus, nausea in the throat, esophagus or stomach. Cantharides, nausea in the stomach. Number 12, Econitum napellus, vomiting slim, cantharides, vomiting of food. Number 13, Econitum napellus, catamania, retarded, oftener, scanty than profuse, suppressed. Cantharides, catamania, generally too soon and too profuse. Number 14, Econitum napellus, breathing generally audible. Cantharides, 
breathing in audible number 15 echo atom dipelus remission during the day and before midnight cantharides remission in the morning and until and evening until midnight number 16 echo atom dipelus worse are better from pressure cantharides better from pressure number 17 echo atom dipelus better when lying on the back worse lying on the side cantharides worse better when lying on the back or on the side number 18 echo atom dipelus better or worse after drinking wine cantharides better from spirituous liquors number 19 echo atom dipelus predominantly worse in the room after lying down this aggravation in the room is less applicable to the rheumatic than to the congestive and catarrhal complaints of econite predominantly worse in bed from the warmth of the bed from being wrapped up and while standing cantharides predominantly better in the room after lying down in bed from the warmth of the bed from being wrapped up and while standing number 20 echo atom dipelus predominantly better in the open air and while walking in the open air after arising from bed from uncovering from washing and moistening the suffering part cantharides predominantly worse in the open air and while walking in the open air after arising from bed from uncovering from washing and moistening the suffering part those econitum napellus 6 to 12 and 30 potency 1 to 5 drops in 10, 10 ml water 4 times a day are as advised by your doctor cantharides 6 to 12 and 30 potency 1 to 5 drops in 10 ml water 4 times a day are as advised by your doctor wishing you a happy and healthy life thank you